The truth is many people fear to start cattle farming saying that it is for rich people. How can I buy a cow of 10 million? How can I buy a cow of 15 million, 30 million Ugandan shillings? That is quite expensive. But what I can say, that is internet. Guys, if you get people who can help you to source those cows, I may say they are long way cheaper than what you hear from various sources. And those cows can help you to give you like uh, 20 liters per day from one cow. Meaning, if someone is planning to start his small scale dairy farm, the small scale I talk about 10 and below, that is quite a small scale, not a, a big production, but still they can give you wonders or you can acquire a lot of benefits from that farm. So in today's video, we are going to focus on what do you need to start up a successful farm or what are the principles that you need to do to make sure that the farm that you have started, it is going to succeed because many people might start with like one, two, three, four, but still they fail in the due course. So guys, stay with me as we are going to be discussing some of the reasons why cattle farming can be a financial changer in your status that you are currently in. So stick with me to the end of this video. I'm sure you will decide what you can do. As a small scale farmer, we want to look at what are the benefits that you're going to get from these cows. Number one, is milk and the good thing in africa we are not focusing much into quality what i mean you going into testing doing what seeing the ph doing this and that no that one might be uh, not such important for you as for a small scale someone with two cows <laughs> four cows eh? then you cannot go for that but make sure that when you're milking you clean the teats very well the environment where these animals are, are staying when it is well drained when it is dry when it is cleaned properly then you're not going to get issues of the diseases and sort of if you're looking at dairy farming a cow like this one you want to see that it gives you production you want to see that uh, you milk you get that milk from it what i would advise you even though you get one cow when that cow can really give you good amount of milk on a daily basis meaning that if you're targeting 20 liters per day it is not that much but still it is moderate especially for that person who is doing zero grazing zero grazing remember it is labor intensive it requires you a lot so if you get those two cows and they are giving you 40 liters per day i don't mean that they are going to give you that liters a year after a year no that one we shall come into a business proposal we can tell you that if you're looking at five cows then make sure that if you want to get a consistent supply for milk you have to make sure that they don't produce at the same time because if they produce at the same time they're going to dry off at the same time meaning you might get two to three months when you're not milking that is a challenge and it will hinder you in your business so you have to be strategic enough to see that if this one produces in this time this one will produce in this time and it is going to help you knowing or being consistent in the milk production you have to be very careful to see that if you have started to supply this milk don't make a day when you don't have that milk because whenever a client needs that milk and it is not available they will run out to you because you are not consistent in the supply of the milk another thing that you're going to get from this cow is the cow dung. Cow dung you can either utilize it by doing biogas or you can utilize it by using it as an organic manure for the plants. It is very essential and it is very important if you're looking at that. You have to make sure that this animal eats well, it's going to defecate. So it will help you to do biogas and you get that energy for cooking and other things. Then another thing that we get from a cow is the calf cell. When my cow here, produces i'm going to get a calf from it meaning if i don't want to enlarge the farm then i can sell off that calf and maybe every year i can be getting a calf that i sell off and i also acquire that money so i'm getting money from the milk i'm getting money from the dung i'm getting money from the calves and still my factory 
is still there. This is a living factory and if someone is strategic enough, I'm assuring you there is no way you can go wrong when you enter into this venture. Someone might say I don't have land. Don't spend a lot of money buying land. You go and rent. You lease land for the start. I'm assuring you in the due course you can buy land. Especially if you rent it from someone who is willing to sell it to you when you get that money for buying it. So that wouldn't be something that is going to hinder you from starting. Actually I'm going to make a video about what projects can you strategically make on your backyard that will yield you a very a good amount of money on an annual basis. So you wait for that video. I'm very sure if you subscribe, you'll be notified on that day when it has been put on our channel. Make sure that where you're going to do that project, you have market for it, or immediate market for your milk. But I'm sure if you are in an urban setting, market is obvious. There is many ways of marketing your products. And I will also make a video how you can market your products such that you cannot get stunted when you reach on the pillar of marketing your produce. But someone may ask that, uh, yes, we have heard you, Kim D, you have talked about about that really this business works very well but now I have my money but how can I get sure that I'm going to be successful in this business first of all I'm here and uh, good enough that I'm standing in front of you here I'm going to tell you these eight principles that you have to put into place to make sure everything is very important and you put it in practice make sure that everything i'm going to talk about make it very important when you're running your farm because now i have told you that you need this to start and it will change your financial status because this is a daily factory it is giving you milk every day every day every day you're getting something in their pocket and that is what many people like to see that every day at least the account is increasing even though we get some other expenses but still there is other things that you're also acquiring from that money principle number one now we assume that you have started do record keeping many people don't do record keeping guys record keeping is very essential you have to put all the information that is attached on your project the date that you brought your animals the amount of money that you spend on it when you're doing medication when you're doing supplementation the workers how much you're paying them such that you see the expenses that you're spending on this project and the revenue that you're going to get from it it's where you can get yourself to do various decision making and other things that may follow you see how your business is performing so record keeping is very essential when you start your business for me i usually even get surprised to go to a farm and i ask for a record book and a certain farm does not have a record book and you think that uh, things are going to now how do you gauge how your business is moving the expenses and what but for someone who is earning that hard earned money and you decide to start up that project please make sure that you follow up your money follow up the project how is performing i'm very sure that you're going to see when everything is in order and those are the things that will help you to know which one to carry out to remove and bring others that are productive and will help you from that another thing mind about animal health always do regular checkups seeing how the cow is performing see that today we have got 10 liters yesterday we got eight what are the reasons why we got this amount of milk not like yesterday if you keep on checking up your cow then you might not lose it in the due course because many people come to secure a cow when really its status for living has gone down when the sickness is in the higher stages so you have to do checkups and you have to do vaccination you have to give it antibiotics you have to make sure that it is in a good state it will help you to be knowing how your farm is 
moving another thing is quality control quality control you have to control the milk that you're milking guys if you get someone who's going to buy your milk and he likes the quality of the milk that you have given him on the first day make sure that you're consistent in that quality don't say that now i have acquired this one and you start doing your things the quality of the milk starts deteriorating bringing milk at the shop when the milk is having dung it is having far you have not uh, put it in the funnel if someone likes you at the first moment make sure that you move with that if you decide to give a client something make sure that you stick on that quality it will help you for your business or for your production to be having buyers to buy your thing another thing you have to focus on breed 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 quality breed the quality breed i mean here is you're doing intensive farming you're doing cattle on a small scale but we want to see that the production is high yet you're bringing in animals that are producing five liters a day <laughs> <laughs> three liters a day what is that now you're putting in a lot and now these uh, animals that you have brought they are not going to help you to pay off the expenses that you are incurring at the moment even though you bring one cow but when that cow is really giving you enough milk enough production you first start with that then you will add on instead of buying many cows and yet you're putting in a lot there are certain people who may say that no i will buy 150 but my average production is 10 liters for those ones they have their different technique or they have their different model of how they are doing their things and because of that their production is remember when you're scaling off don't think that if you're scaling off even the labor is also scaling off no 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 someone who's on a large scale the labor that he is going to pay does not affect him like you who is doing a small thing you have to be very mindful about that and you look for quality animals that will help you to do such another principle that you have to focus on that is effective nutrition management you have acquired knowledge about how you're going to feed this animal you have gone to different seminars you have done this and that but still you have to keep that nutritional management effectively you have to make sure that your nutritional management is effective and it is working properly if the, the nutrition is not okay the production will be down even the health of an animal will deteriorate and you'll be seeing when the business is now sloping instead of uh, moving up and up and increasing on the production so guys make sure that the nutrition what you're going to feed these animals it is the exact feeds that they require to be fed and on what stage financial management that is our next principle you have to manage your finances well the money that you're getting what are you using it how are you getting these funds make sure that every product that you're getting from a cow you sell off know how you're going to manage these finances how many workers do you need for this venture instead of bringing each and every one but all of that will be on the record keeping you cannot know how you, you manage your finances if you don't do record keeping proper record keeping is very essential as it was my first principle if you attach yourself to it i'm very sure that you're going to benefit a lot so financial management is crucial and critical to continue doing it when you have started your business or even if you have started to acquire some money my last principle and it is very very important guys is continuous learning and adaption when people start they think that what they have acquired before they begin it is that and it is enough for them to run their farm for 10 years what i can assure you that the mode of farming keep on changing 
and the way how people do things they change if you go to various seminars various workshops and what you have to make sure that you learn like for us we do every year we make sure that we do a cattle generation seminars and we call up people we call up different people in this profession to help our farmers to see how they increase their production and everything so if you continue learning like here you came to our channel to learn what we have brought new for you those are the things that you have to continue doing in the due course of that business i'm sure and very sure when allah is the one uh, that is really the driver of this business if you put in place those principles i'm very sure that your business is going to be successful and maybe you can be one of the people that we're going to testify to various people that really i did this and it is working out for me if you need a business proposal if you need a design plan we are a cocktail uh, organization that we can help you from planning designing construction stocking management of those animals planting pastures doing everything that even this paddocking we are the one that did it even the um, the pastures that you are looking at we are the one that planted it we do everything so don't be there that now you have talked about who is going to help us i'm the one who's going to help you if you've been watching till this minute and you haven't subscribed please subscribe share like and maybe we shall catch up in our next video thank you very much may the lord bless you all